All right, so one of the questions is multiple dysfunction at the same time. So usually when uh, people have one problem, it's not just one problem, they have all this problem. It's like the song, the head bone is connected to the neck bone, neck bone is connected to the backbone. It's, it's all connected. But usually it starts with your head, you know, where your eyes go, your head follows sort of deal, you know. And if you have a cell phone, if you have a cell phone, it will go wherever your head goes, right? So your head, leaning forward head, right? And the forehead will usually be accompanied by rounded shoulders, rounded shoulders. And not only that, it's also, you know, the kyphosis where you, where you, where your, 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 your whole rib cage goes forward okay and then that also with a sedative with a pelvis as a lean forward so it's actually all connected it's uh, right now what I am personally having okay I okay the way I did it was is just you know this is a, for me this is a lot of experimentation over years uh, but my main, my breakthrough for me was always the rounded shoulders. I I use the theory of my rounded shoulder to apply to everything else um, because that one was the easiest to correct because I can actually um, just release this knot and then it was okay. Uh, and then, but so right. Uh, after I corrected my rounded shoulders, it was my neck and uh, my back and my almost uh, my back kind of my back yeah and it's just you know whatever right now I'm just I don't want to work too hard so I kind of uh, just uh, cruise along just to just to have fun and just to um, but one of the big, though my biggest challenge right now, I've been for like last eight, nine months, has been my uh, my my rib cage and my pelvis. Yeah, my pelvis because one, you know, one my pelvis is always tucked in forward and my my rib cage is forward, and you can't you can't it's kind of connected because the bottom of the rib cage is connected to the the top of the 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 pelvis. So, you know, and then they kind of work together. So it's, it's really complicated. But if you want to correct multiple dysfunctions at the same time, it's just, there's no, there is a sequence, but I'm not going to follow it. And uh, some people say from feet to the top or something like that. But, eh, you know, us being us, whatever's convenient and whatever's possible, whatever you want to do is your way. But you really, you have to get one knot, release a knot, release this knot, knot, that knot, and then actually, and then, then stretch those tendons and then strengthen that and this and just so much. It gets really, really complicated. So you might as well just do it, whatever. Just do the, do the easiest possible just to get you started, okay? If you want to get very specific about this, you know, we could like argue on different points and like this work for me, it might work for you, it doesn't work for this person. So you might as well just argue apples and oranges and it's just, you just do it your way. It's your, it's just a technique. You, there's no right or wrong. There is a, there's a really wrong way of doing it, but it's, it's a better way and a worse way of doing things, I think. I think it's better. There's no right or wrong, but it's a better and a worse way of doing things because you're in control of your body and your body will tell you, this, give you the signals of what to do. So 